Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So we're gonna head to the, the Coliseum now. Timer! <laughs> Which I once again forgot. Not on purpose this time. Here we go. Right, I think we're just going to scale as far up as we can go. See how he jumps through that there? of dudes in there and I can get hurt hardcore. Yeah, let's make sure we stay in one piece before we do anything else, right? I might be able to use the slowdown to get to the end of that room. effective with a shield. Actually, oops, oh, obviously I'm using the yellow cart. I'm trying to, like, skip off their heads here, so I can just... Okay, I'm out here. See ya! The extra thousand dollars is definitely worth it, though. Yeah, let's just get our life back up here. Gate, come forth, my servants. The scent of your blood, you're a Belmont. Crush this flea who invades my castle. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sheba. Well, the broadsword's actually better. Let's get the actual and the silver plate. Yeah, let's fight this boss for real. Crap. Ah. 
I'm certain that was a Belmont. So he says he's the lord of this castle. Hmm. Alright, right back to the junky gear so that we can have extra luck. And we're quite sorry. Okay. So. Richter is now the lord of the castle. Very interesting. So, we now have the form of mist, which allows us to pass through certain walls. Cheesecake. So, we're definitely going to explore the rest of this, and then, uh, head back to the library again. They give you a little bit of a hint that you Get that library card. Library. Library. Ooh, ow. You get, you get the library card before fighting those monsters here. Yeah, you summon spear, you go get them. Yeah, it was definitely worth half the life. We know what we no longer need the clock, so we might as well. Partake of this uh, free hit points, huh? <laughs> yeah. No damage. Keep getting hit there. Keep going at an angle. Oh, turn around. hearts or damage to hearts, but uh, it definitely does not help our cause any, so... So, we are going to put that library card that we found and head on back to the library. Actually, correctly this time. Alright, let's see if we have enough here. 
for you. And <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Farewell for now. We have 20,000, not quite. Alright, now we're gonna head back to that spot where I was before. You know, when I was a. Uh, derp derp. And uh, we into this section too early. Let's let's do this. <laughs> Health is a little low there. Ceremonial Stone Mask, which increases our intelligence by three. So, we're definitely going to take that. Topaz Circulate and a Holy Rod. Topaz Circulate restores hit points by poison damage, but it doesn't help us. Cir cir circlet. Kind of like, kind of like a Quiris. Or Quiris, right? Uh, Quira. <laughs> And the Holy Rod, which is an anointed rod, which I'm... Rod. Shut up, now. Circlet. Quirus. Yes. Oh, what now, Fleeman? Totally choo choo -ass. I leveled up off the armor, not the Fleeman. That makes sense. Iron Quiris. <laughs> Alright, that is it for that section there. We, had, we do need to go back down here. Where I was a dumbass. Not a Quiris. Dumbass. And forgot to get missed first. I already lost that dagger for long enough. I think we get it from here, so... There we go. That gives us the soul of bat. Allows us to do... Play the wrong one. There we go. Sup, everybody! But staying in bat form, uh, very slowly consumes magic, so... But he has this interesting little ability. They don't teach you that in the actual game, so using that spell early on is just knowing how to do it. Uh, for those that don't know how to do that, the wing smash is just hold the X button and then go from top to forward and then releasing. So you have to hold the button so that you can stay still, see? and then top to forward. It takes M it takes MP for everything that you touch along the way, so it's not uh, not something that you can do unlimitedly though. Alright, now that we have the form of bat, we can actually complete the long library. This up here is the familiar that I choose to use. Very familiar. Fairy card summons the fairy familiar. And there she is. Now familiars in the game are, you know, little helpers that can, you know, do damage for you or heal you like she does. And uh, they are more effective the more XP you get. So 
as you see, you know, familiars here have a level and XP. The higher their level, the more effective they are in combat. The fairy in the beginning will pretty much only give you potions when you are low on health. Later on in the game, when you start getting status effects and you have the appropriate medicine for it, they will, or she will, more effectively use those medicines on you. And she's the only uh, familiar in the game that can actually save you from death. If you get uh, an item called uh, Golden Apple or something like that, I think it's Golden Apple, it, uh, she can use it. Only, only she can use it. Whack. This makes travel a hell of a lot easier. Hide Paris. Alright, now that we have that, we are going to have to take another trip back to the, uh, back to the clock tower. Not the clock tower, but the, uh, the clock room. But, we have a teleporter at this point that helps us get there a lot faster. At this portion of the game, we can pretty much go where we want now that we have Bat. So we're going to pretty much map completion for the rest of this. But, there are still a few things that need left to be done. That are left to be... whatever I'm saying. There we are. Warlock's quarters is... Oh, actually, yeah. But, I want to hit the clock tower first. Warlock's quarters is next. I actually forgot about him. Take this. much XP for me, but for the fairy, that's actually quite useful. We want to be able to start to uh, take care of poison and curses and stuff like that as quickly as possible. Does this get us a normally higher jump? It lets us uh, do this, which will be incredibly useful in a little while. But that takes uh, MP. There it is, life apple. That's what it's called, life apple. And that will allow. It says heals, but uh, it heals you from dying. something seconds. I'm just going to get us right back into that spot before I uh, get moving here. One hour, 41 minutes, I'm guessing. Pick. Anytime. That'll do it for this episode of Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night, so I will see you guys on the next episode.